youtube.com slash Tim Westwood TV. So, was it difficult? Any regrets? No, obviously no regrets, but I mean, any second thoughts? No. Just do it. You know what? The foundation of my life makes me more stable. Mm. You know, my relationship with my fans has always been through my music. Yeah. And it's now time to to deal with it. And here we are, once again, I'm in the UK starting off. I always start off in the UK. Exactly. But, you know, this is, uh, they, they're, they're two separate things, mm -hmm. you know. I pull from some of my personal experiences to tell a story, a story of where I am. You know, had I not been honest about where I was, then I'd be kind of living behind a facade. I'm mm -hmm. not, this is where I am and where I stand. I mean, records like Confessions and Burn. They, they, are, they, they were just as true. Just as true. They weren't all my stories, though, believe it or not. I always thought they were. <laughs> nah, Confessions were actually, I thought Confessions was definitely your story. Nah, real talk, I think that every I, man who's been in a situation with more than one woman can relate to that. that yes. You can't say that it always turns out to be a kid. I think that that was the exaggeration that took it to the next level. Seriously? Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, it's funny because the last album... I thought that was such a true story. Nah, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling tell you. Look, last album, I wanted every song to you know represent real talk right. for men like for guys yes. to be able to hear and say damn i can relate to what he's yes. talking about so i i kind of sat around we would talk me and the homeboys and this conversation of infidelity and a child always kept coming up so i was like you know what let's do a record like that and jay was like i don't know that might be thick yes. i was like let's do that let's let's this is real talk right because that was the name of the album in, you know, in right. the beginning real right. talk we changed it to confessions but, uh, you know, every album has always been, you know, kind of the bearing of soul and, and honesty and, and, if anything, relating to people in, you know, uh, you know in, in the past, in tumultuous situations. This one is traveling through a new journey, mm. a journey that doesn't stop at the end of this album. It keeps going. We ain't what, lost a beat. <laughs> yo, what a smash, dog. Yeah, man. Rings off, man. You mess with you like Jeezy, right? Oh, Jeezy, man, but he's a movement for Check me. Check it man. out, homeboy. I was talking to him just yesterday. Yeah. I was like, "Look, man, you got to get out here. You got a movement mm. out here. You got to follow that mm. movement. They they like you out here a lot. So, you know, the more you come, and matter of fact, I'm hollering about coming sitting with you. Like, yeah. yo, you need to come over here sit with Tim. He gonna give you the he gonna give you the blessing once he put his hand on it. You're good. Thank you, sir. Now, the remix, you took that somewhere else, man, with Beyonce, man. Yeah. I mean, you, you flipped it. It's just not like you haven't thrown an extra verse on there. You took it somewhere else. Yeah, man. That's it. King and queen. Mm. <laughs> Feels good, man. Yeah, Feels man. Feels real good, man. That All was right. a big one for me. You know, I feel so, man. So, do you worry when you, you, you pause and you, you, you're away for three years? Do you worry about that? Nah, as I told you, I pause for the cause. The yeah. cause is, do you miss me? That's it. If you miss me, I'm coming back. Mm. If if you're tired of seeing me, I'm going away for a minute. Let me just chill, and I'll be back. Now I'm back. <laughs> and, and people don't was crazy. forget. So, they were so anxious to get this record yeah. that, like, I think an, I think about an album worth of material has leaked. Records that were unofficial. Exactly. It was crazy. But now you'll get a chance to see what the vision is if you if you have those other unofficial records consider yourself lucky but um this is officially the album that uh, i'm now presenting to you and it'll be out may 26. oh man the call here i stand it's crazy man. it feels it feels you're such in a good place i am man i am believe it or not it, it, it feels like you've gone through everything and now you're where you need to be man in a way I mean if you def if you line up all the albums it'll definitely tell you that mm. but if you live with me day to day especially now you know a father I'm in a new place you know you know that that, that right there has been the light those are the lights of my life mm. my sons mm. are the life of my are the light of my life yeah mm -hmm. now the scenes change you got the likes of Chris Brown you know hitting out there the soldier boy the, the, definitely you know hip hop is in a different place um how you feel how you feel you know you're still you're still so relevant as loving this club people still really want you how do you feel about that how do you feel about it is the question I, 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 Usher like records come and go man but Usher is part of your life I feel yeah I like that mm. I'm a part of your life mm. I date back about let's see about 10 years mm. so that's where we start I never in my life 
heard a comparison to Soldier Boy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that one is a new. No, no, one. No, I was sure how the scene has changed. How the scene has changed. Let me, let me tell you. Yeah. See, but let me show you something. You know, in a matter of about, which is why I decided to do this album the way that mm. I did. You know, not that I am trying to pull away from urban or hip hop in any way, but I think that in terms of, you know, having a standard, setting a standard for what R and B is and what hip hop is, and being able mm. to clearly differentiate the two. That's why classic material, where I, in terms of what this album sounds like, it really sounds like a classic R and B record mm -hmm. because that line has been distorted far too long for hip hop mm -hmm. and R and B. Yeah, and it's good that you haven't I stopped playing on retiring anytime oh, soon. Oh, please don't, man. <laughs> please don't. I mean, and it's good that you haven't stopped dancing, man. No, I wouldn't stop doing that. Exactly, because <clears throat> some cats have stopped dancing. Well, yeah, some people some, like JT. They don't dance no more. No, nah, JT still dance. But mm. a matter of fact, I I gotta say one thing about JT mm. now. JT has grown tenfold. My man, he is a full on producer. You heard that Madonna joint with, right. with Timberland? Mm. He does his thing. A matter of fact, we we just talked about two or three days ago about uh, he's in Miami working on working on some material. Actually, just finished up a movie, but uh, talked about you know in the future maybe doing something together. Man, that'd be big. That would be incredible. That would be Huge. That would be incredible. Yeah, man. That would be an ultimate moment, man. Yeah. I think that'd be a more powerful moment than uh, JT. What is that? Oh, it's just some garbage, garbage truck. <laughs> we in the hood, man. <laughs> Yo, live from the hood. We got Usher, Tim Westwood. Garbage we keeping trucks. it real, man. We exactly. keeping it gully. Exactly. <laughs> what is your favorite lyric of yours of all time? I just gave it to you. A second okay, ago. okay. I can't be fake. I can't be phony. Acting all hard. That's for homies. Just lonely. That's that's just that's just one of them ones. Mm. And what would you say is your favorite, most classic song of yours? Favorite classic song of mine. It's kind of hard to even give you one mm. because there's so many that that represent a different movement. Um, mm. I love you know bad girls for the ladies. Yes. But then I love throwback for the fellas. Right. You know what I'm saying. And then, you know, you don't have to call. It's like that ultimate instant banger. Yes. You know. Yeah, I, that's the obvious oh, one. That's the obvious. That's yeah. the, the obvious club smash. Yeah, but records like Throwback, never got a chance to shoot a video for that one. Never got a chance to really give it the light that it deserved. Mm. But that right there is, there's a, lot, there's a lot of that type of material on this album, you know, where, you, where you're just bearing, you're just keeping it real, man. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, still living in the A, man. Yeah, still living in the A. That's my base. I think that I always have a home in the A, regardless to where I live and where mm. I go. Mm. That'll always be. That's like it's like my uh, my child's birthplace. It was like the beginning of my career. Mm. You know, uh, you know, I just I got like too many homes there. Yeah. So I'm kind of stuck. Yeah. <laughs> Feels good, man. Feels good. And the fragrance, man. I, should, I wish I'd rocked it today, man. I feel like I need it. You probably would have sweated <laughs> it off by then. <laughs> nah, but, uh, um, nah, just, you know, the, the, the other side of Usher mm -hmm. is, uh, is business, too. You know, and stepping outside of uh, what, I'm, what I do mm -hmm. in, in entertainment and introducing that audience as well as other audiences across the world in other genres. Mm -hmm. Um, to something that's not musical. Mm -hmm. I wanted to c put my creative energy into something that could potentially turn out to be a huge brand. Yeah. You look at guys like Sean Carter. You look at guys like uh, Sean Combs. You look at guys like Russell Simmons. They figured it out. They figured out how to go past just doing music and turn it into something else, you know? So that's the beginning of a lifestyle brand, yeah. of course. It's a male and a female. It's usher he, usher she. So it's a little bit something for both of them. But, um, you know, just an introduction to the lifestyle brand of Usher. That's going to potentially be, you know, clothing lines, yeah. and all that stuff. Not done. I haven't really gotten into it because it takes so much time and detail. Without time and set up. But, yeah. um, you know, I do plan on doing all of it. Yeah. Like a clothing line, I plan on doing an exclusive watch line, maybe tennis shoes. All the things that I like and, in, 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 uh, you know, covet. I like, yeah. like, like a certain shape of chain, yes. a certain yeah. look, a certain lifestyle. You know, want to give it all. You know, eventually... Maybe even have like a hotel, like the House of Usher or something like that. You know, what, <laughs> what would that be? Some super romantic candlelit spot, chandeliers, mirror it, above let's the bed. This way, it would be the type of shot. It would be the type of spot that you want to bring your bring your your real piece to. 
<laughs> You're not going to do rooms by the hour? No. Okay. No, none of that. Okay. <laughs> straight weekends. Straight romantic not the, getaways. Not the bang, bang, boogie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think the Westwood Hotel would be by the hour. Or in my case, by the half hour. <laughs> A vending machine in every room. <laughs> For condoms. <laughs> okay, that's the way it goes down. I'll show our special guest. No doubt, man. <laughs>